Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a, another uh, demo, a mixing for musicians demo where we just give simple mixing tips uh, for musicians to use on a day-to-day -day basis. So today we are um, kind of following up from last week's episode about cleaning up your EQ to get a more professional uh, vocal sound and we're going to look at compression today and um, pretty much the what the compression is going to do is it's going to help your your vocals have strength in the mix, so you're not going to be losing words or phrases within the main track um, because the dynamic range of the vocal is too much. Um, so yeah, we do this using compression. So what compression does essentially is it pushes down the high peaks of your uh, signal, any signal, in this case it's a vocal signal. Um, so it pushes down those high peaks, uh, which would make us normally want to turn down the channel fader. And because the compressor is doing that, now we have a more stable, uh, static vocal performance, um, which yeah just allows us to to have the vocals stronger in the mix. Um, so today I'm using a uh, just a live kind of demo vocal uh, performance that was taken from like a live band mix. I've got the live mix here, but I'm gonna uh, mute that for now. We'll get back to it later. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to listen to this uh, vocal mix and we're going to apply uh, compression to it and we're going to see how it's going to push down um, the the peaks and help the softer words which are getting swallowed not to get swallowed so much because once we push down the peaks we'll be able to turn up the channel um, so how i'm going to do this is i'm going to use this compressor this is a logic compressor um, and it's modeled after the it's modeled after the dbx um, 160 uh, which is like an analog compressor we normally use for drums uh, and there's two reasons i like it and i'm going to use it today the first reason is because i actually use one of these in the studio that i work at uh, called audio suite we have two of them there uh, and i always put it on the vocal uh, when i'm recording um, at the studio so i like the fact that it's the same thing and the second reason i like it uh, which is probably why it's in the studio uh, is because it's so simple uh, as you can see here like if you ignore all these side controls input gain all the kind that's just kind of stuff logic adds uh, but just main middle section here um, it's just got three controls threshold ratio and makeup gain um, and ignore this alter gain that's also something that logic puts on um, and that's great because it's really really simple for um, this context where a musician just wants to like turn a few knobs to get a workable sound they don't have to worry like if you look at some of these other ones uh, there's a whole bunch more settings with this uh, classic VCA. It's super simple. Um, okay, so uh, let's uh, listen to this vocal without the compression quick. I used to take the long way round when the mountain was too tall. But now my sights are set upon the highest peak of all. You taught me how to climb and now I'm reaching for the top Every step is stronger I don't ever want to stop Okay, so there's two uh, parts of that vocal um, that I'm not happy with this vocal performance. This is, hasn't got anything done except for the uh, channel EQ, which is what we saw in last week's video. Uh, I'm using that same EQ in this video. Um, so the, the two things I don't like about this, sorry, let me just hide this quickly, uh, is you can see it in this waveform here, this initial uh, like peak with this third wo first word she uh, says. I'm really not a fan of how that like jumps out of the mix because it makes me want to turn this channel fader down. But if I did that, then the rest of the phrase, which you can see by looking at the waveform, is a lot more consistent. That would then be lost, and then I would turn it up again. And then when I got back to and replayed that part of the song, it would be too loud again. So that's what compression is going to solve for us. And then the last thing I didn't like was the fact that I want to turn the vocal up because this last word kind of gets swallowed. But again, same dilemma. If I turn this vocal up, what's going to happen is that this initial phrase here is going to be way too loud. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add some compression to this. And I want you guys to listen when we play it again how it squashes down. We'll, you'll be able to see it on the the uh, gain reduction meter as well. But it's it's more important to listen about how uh, it squashes that dynamic range um, just a little bit and this DBX is great because it's 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 doing the attack and release for you You don't have to worry about those settings um, So that's why I enjoy doing it uh, with this. So uh, I'm gonna play this first section um, 
just a few times it's gonna sorry it's gonna be a little bit irritating maybe uh, but I'm just gonna bring down the um, I'm just gonna bring down the threshold here to start squashing down this initial peak I used to take the long way round when the mountain was too tall I used to take the long way round when the mountain was too tall I used to take the long way round when the mountain was Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that and what you see happening here on the meter when we go past that word is that it's uh, bringing that phrase down by 5 dB um, and then the rest of it, all the kind of peaks that are coming through, um, it's bringing them down by like 2 to 3 dB, um, a little bit less maybe. Um, so that's super simple as you can see, it was just a, a case of pulling uh, down the threshold. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much a good place to start with the settings. Um, I did want to say that I don't want this to be a golden rule kind of these are the exact settings, you know, this ratio, this makeup gain or whatever to make this work. What I am going to do is I'm going to save this preset um, after the video and then if you guys want this, if you're using Logic and you want this uh, preset to start with, like just a good, um, there are some things in the background that I've kind of set up um, which are a bit complicated. Um, but if you want this preset as a good starting place, you can just uh, email me uh, the link for my email is in my bio on Instagram. Uh, you can email me and just request uh, this preset and then I'll email it to you and then you can just drop it into your presets folder and then you'll have it. Um, so that's really cool. But now what I want to do is we've just been listening to it in solo. So what I want to do is I want to listen to it in context of the track without the, um, without the compression on. And you'll hear that it, some words get lost a little bit more and then back with compression on and you'll hear how uh, the vocal has a lot more strength in the mix but before i do that i just want to quickly um, give a few plugs so uh, one is for my instagram channel um, my instagram channel is at thomas oesters and that's double o s t h u i z e n um, on that page you'll be able to see all the work i'm doing i offer mixing, uh, recording, and producing services. Um, I mentioned earlier that I'm at a studio called Audio Suite. It's a full professional studio. So if you need anything mixed or recorded there, uh, you can email me uh, with the email that's in my bio, or you can just DM me straight about, uh, sorry, straight on um, Instagram. Uh, then also I do production lessons, private production lessons, which are similar to these demos, but a lot more in depth. Um, we get to go a lot more into the behind the scenes kind of stuff. So if you're interested in uh, kind of upping your production chops uh, send me an email or a DM there um, and then I also do a podcast every Thursday uh, I catch up with local musicians about the music that they're currently doing um, so you can find the link to that in my bio on Instagram as well if you want to follow uh, yeah kind of what's happening in the scene at the moment but let's carry on here with this demo uh, so let's listen to, I'm going to unmute this demo track, let's listen to the, um, let's listen to the track without the compression on, and then I'm going to put the compression on. What I am going to do is I'm going to give this just a little bit of makeup gain, um, because it is going to get quieter with the compression and I don't want it to speed too quiet in the track. Um, okay, so from the beginning, uh, let's listen to it and I'm going to keep the compressor off, and then, uh, when it loops back around, I will turn the compressor on. Cool. So uh, there you have it. Um, that is vocal compression uh, for you to strengthen the uh, vocal performances in your mix. Um, if you guys want to see more of these videos, please uh, comment 
uh, below or DM me on some suggestions of stuff you want to do. I'm um, always open to new ideas. Uh, if there's something you need help with uh, and enough people need it, I'll definitely do a video on it. But other than that, thanks for watching. Please like and comment below. Head over to the Instagram channel, uh, like the other posts there, comment below and engage. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Cheers.